Peregrine, 1878, after 1898, was a British thoroughbred racehorse and sire. His racing career was extremely brief, consisting of two races in the space of 28 days in 1881. On May 4 he was an emphatic winner of the 2000 guineas defeating the American challenger Iroquois. He was matched against Iroquois again in the Epsom Derby and was beaten half a length into second place. A recurrent leg injury forced his retirement at the end of the year. He made little impact as a breeding stallion. Peregrine was a brown horse bred in England by Mr. Taylor Sharp. He stood 16 hands high and had white markings on the heels of his hind feet. In September 1879 the yearling was offered for sale and bought for 450 guineas by the trainer Robert Peck on behalf of Hugh Grosvenor, 1st Duke of Westminster. On the death of the Duke's wife, the former Lady Constance Levisongauer, in 1880 many of his racehorses were put up for sale and Peregrine, then an unraced two-year-old, was reportedly sold for 700 guineas. Despite the sale the colt appeared to remain in the same ownership. During his racing career the colt was listed as the property of Mr. Mance, Mr. Grosvenor and Mr. Norman, which appeared to have been on the courses of the Duke. It was reported that Mr. Norman was Captain Robert Grosvenor, a son of the Duke of Westminster but this seems unlikely as in 1881 the Duke's son Robert was only 12 years old. Peregrine was trained by Peck at Russelly Park in Wiltshire throughout his racing career. He was one of the best horses sired by Paro Gomez who won the St. Ledger and finished second in the Derby in 1869. Peregrine's Dam Adelaide was an exceptionally influential broodmare who was regarded as the foundation mare of thoroughbred family 9-H. Peregrine was unraced a two-year-old but in the spring of 1881 he began to appear in the betting lists for both the 2000 guineas and the Epsom Derby. On May 4, 1881 Peregrine, on his race course debut, was one of 14 horses to contest the 73rd running of the 2000 guineas over the rally mile at Newmarket race course. Prince Soltykoff's Scoble started the seven halves ahead of Chameleard, Golden Plover, and Tristan with Peregrine, ridden by Fred Webb next in the betting on 15 halves. The filly wandering none delayed the start by refusing to line up with her male opponents but started well and led the field before giving way to Lennox Love who was in turn overtaken by the American-bred outsider Iroquois two furlongs from the finish. Perigen, who had not been among the early leaders moved into contention at about the same stage and then began to make rapid progress down the center of the course. He moved up alongside the American colt approaching the final furlong and drove away in the closing stages to win very easily by three lengths from the American-bred Iroquois with the 100-1 outsider Don Falano finishing a length and a half back in third. Peregrine was stepped up in distance for the Derby Stakes over one and a half miles at Epsom Racecourse on June 1, 1881. With Webb again in the saddle he was made the six-fifths favorite ahead of 14 opponents headed by Iroquois. After being restrained towards the middle of the field, Peregrine moved up into contention on the inside rail on the final turn as he took the lead entering the final furlong he looked likely to win easily. Iroquois, however, produced a strong late rush and Peregrine was beaten half a length in a splendid finish. Shortly after the race it was reported that Peregrine had been bought for 7,000 guineas by Lord Ellington. Peregrine was strongly fancied for the St. Ledger at Doncaster Racecourse in September but was withdrawn, scratched, from the race on August 18 after he aggravated a pre-existing foreleg injury in a training gallop. Peregrine spent most of his stud career in France. He was not a success as a breeding stallion, with the best of his offspring probably being the filly La Bernil, who finished second in the Grand Criterium. Peregrine died of a heart condition. References